What is up YouTube? My name is Nico and today I am going to be sharing a weight loss video with you. And this is actually my third vlog about weight loss, but this is the first one that I'm going to be releasing to the public. Um, the other two I will share at a later date that I don't quite know yet. So, um, but today is going to be about Sunday meal prep. So what I eat throughout the week, I make all of my weekly lunches on Sunday so that I don't have to meal prep every single day, you know what I mean? So I'll make probably three or four pounds of chicken today as well as fresh ground turkey and I'm going to be making that on my blackstone griddle. But I hope to bring you along on every step of the way to show you how I cut the chicken maybe. I might not do that one but I'm going to show you like how I, um, how I marinate the chicken and how I season the turkey and how I make it cook to where it is really good to eat and it's actually healthy for you so that you're not eating something that tastes like crap but you're also eating something that will help you lose weight. So what you're going to want to do here is put the chicken that you trimmed all the fat off of and everything like that beforehand into a one gallon Ziploc baggie and then you're going to pour the marinade over it and let it sit in the refrigerator for one to two hours. If you're in a rush you can do like 30 minutes but the longer you let it sit, the more ch the chicken absorbs the flavor. So I recommend at least an hour. I usually try to let it sit overnight if possible, but uh, two hours is perfectly fine as well. I don't notice that much of a flavor difference. So for this recipe, I just used the urban garlic marinade, which was from Walmart. Um, it was pretty healthy for you, but there was a lot left over. So even though it says like the whole thing's 240 calories, you're not actually consuming all 240 calories. Um, so I don't really count on a week to week basis. I don't really count any type of marinades I use, but um, it's up to you. If depending on how it, like how accurate you want to be in your calorie counts. Um, but I, I don't do it. So All right, so my favorite part is right here where I'm using the Blackstone griddle to grill my chicken up. It's always the best part of my day when I get the grill out. Um, so what I did was I just heated it up, let it preheat to like 400 degrees, put a little oil on there, and made sure that I dried off my chickens from the marinade, and then dropped them on to the griddle. And then I, I also chopped up two onions really quickly and just threw them on the, the less hot side. So, as you can see, I'm just flipping over the chicken. It has a nice malleared reaction to it where it's nice and brown and crusted on both sides. And I, I let it cook for around 13 minutes in total. And I have a thermometer to check to temp it and see if it gets to 165. So, the chicken always turns out great. And I really do love the purchase that I made of the Blackstone griddle. So once the chicken hits 165 degrees, you're going to want to give it a few minutes to rest. And then after that, you're going to want to cut it up. Um, please excuse my cutting skills here because the cutting board was not grounded properly. So it was sliding back and forth. And I was also using a smaller knife than usual. I usually use a 10 inch chef knife instead of an eight inch. So again, wasn't my best cutting performance, but it worked. So. <laughs> But basically what I do is cube up the chicken and then I throw it into a bowl to get the total weight and then divide it by how many meals I think I'm going to be able to use. All right, <clears throat> so the cook the chicken is cooked. 
And now we are going to be meal prepping it. So each meal, like there's six available meals for the week and each one gets six ounces of chicken. So to do that, I literally just dump six ounces of chicken in there. So now I have onions that I cooked. I'm just going to put them on each one. All right, so I've just finished meal prepping for the day. I have six containers of six ounces of chicken, a half portion of cheese, and grilled onions with a low carb wrap for lunch. Looks really good. And then I also have eight ounces of really lean ground turkey with feta cheese, one serving. So eight ounces of ground turkey and 100 calories or so worth of feta cheese and a wrap as well for lunch. So that is eight different containers So I'll be able to have dinner three times This week without actually having to cook as well as I have lunch for every single work I just got finished cooking meals for the week. So I have lunch for every single day of the week I'm very excited to eat it. It looks great and it feels like every single week that I do it I'm getting better at meal prepping. We're going to be taking Cooper to the park soon and we're going to be going and letting him just like roam and run around and have a good time. Cooper, what do you think about that? Huh? Do you want to go to the park? Want to have a fun day? <laughs> Mommy, want to go to the park? Yeah, so Cooper can be happy and chase his ball around. <laughs> Are you a crazy nut?